Hello everyone, welcome to another how to video with Power BI. And in this video, I'll be looking at how to create a date table. We all know that date tables are very essential part of our analysis because it helps us to perform a time intelligence calculations, which helps us to you know, make comparison over time. All right, there are two major ways of creating a date table. So the first one is when we create this date table, we just have one column. And then we go about adding this column and um, defining what we want. And uh, it's very important that we have columns in our date table. We have more than one column because in a situation where we want to you know, further analyze, drill down in um, our reporting, this would help us do that, all right. So the second way is just a way where there's a function, a DAX function in Power BI that helps us to, you know, is an iterator where we can pass um, different columns with an expression, different column names with the expression. All right, a lot of, enough of my talk, let's just go in and see how to do that. So the first is we just need to create, we're going with the first one and eventually we'll look at the second one. So the first one is uh, we we'll click on new table and we'll start with having our table name. Since we are creating a date table, we have a date table here. So go ahead to create your date table using calendar auto. And now we have created that when we go to our table view, we can see that we have our table here. Now we just want to add maybe two to three more columns and then we go over the second one. So now we just want to have our year column. So how to go about that? So now we have our year. Um, we want to have another one, maybe quarter. So when you're creating your um subsequent uh, columns, pay attention so you always reference this column, the date column. All right. So now we have our quarter. Maybe let's create our month column. Like I said, we're going to have, we're going to see um, the various columns here. So let's always go with the date table. So once we have this, and now we can see that we have our, our, our columns. So let's look at how to create a second one. So quickly, let's just delete this one so we don't have it two columns um to the table in a model so now the second one is we would like to would like to all right so we like to create a new table here. So same name, dates, table. Um, now we use this DAX function in Power BI, add columns. So, we have the first, once we're done with the first, we put a comma. And we'll go to the second. So the second one.
So now you can see if you go here, we can see that just with one, just at, at once we're able to create a robust um, date table where we are able to also add the columns while creating that. All right. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned while um, we continue with this videos.